so that please report this to your local uh, police department and the FBI and the CIA and all of it, because I can't seem to get these people to stop cutting me off. They don't want me to make money. They want me to lose this apartment. And they're desperate. They're so desperate to change my identity and who I am. So I showed you they wanted to say that my hair is relaxed. It's not relaxed. You can see it's not relaxed. Why does it matter? You want to know why it matters to them? Because it allows them to change who I am and so they could steal my identity. I'll show you the wall again. I did a whole video showing the wall. And I'll do it again. But I'm going to say this. No one is allowed to live with me. I will not allow anybody to move into this apartment with me. I do not have to. They said New York City can force me to make, uh, to let someone live here. New York City cannot. They tried to change my identity. I went to St. Angela Marici, St. Helena's, Cardinal Spellman, Fordham, took an accounting course at NYU, got accepted to Columbia's post-baccalaureate studies in psychology and took a neuroscience course during the summer. These are things that anyone could look up. This, these aren't lies. Throughout my years at in school, and I'm checking to make sure they don't cut me off because I'm talking into this, I turn the phone over and the phone is completely cut off. They constantly intercept this. So this is advanced technology. Not a regular person can do this. And I don't understand why they keep trying to change my identity from who I am. My name is Shamiga Johnson. I think this comes back to when they researched and investigated, they found a character in a book written by a professor I had at Fordham and thought it was based on me. The likeness is me, but the stories are not me. I didn't live in a dormitory. I did not accuse a bunch of white guys of rape, raping me. And they thought I did. They then said something about art and music, maybe because I, my previous channel, I did little animated videos based on psychology. Well, we took art in school from elementary school all the way to college. It was mandatory. It wasn't an elective. So anybody who knows, you know, how you have some things that you can, it's an elective course versus a man. No, it was mandatory. Music was mandatory. Art was mandatory because they wanted it to be well-rounded students in different studies. So you had your liberal arts, you had your business, you had your, uh, I did science so that we would be well-rounded and we could go on. We didn't have to go into uh, college. We would be able to have knowledge of these things. It's not just me. Anybody who attended those schools had the same thing. So I'm going to just go down the list of what the schemey scammies are saying. They want to change my identity and change my race. I make sure to let them know I am black of West Indian descent. I will never change my race. They're trying to kill me. They, you see how frail I am. You see how, how I look. I don't look like a healthy person. So why would an unhealthy person like me have to waste time defending myself against their lies? It's a distraction from my physical ailments and from what they're doing to me. I told them, you, you, they already know I was diagnosed with several health problems. So hitting me with lasers, heating me up does not make those health problems better. It's a way of slowly killing me in a way that people would think, oh, maybe it was the health problem. It's not the health problem. It's them. I'm up at night because they bang on the walls, they're drilling. Please check out the previous videos I uploaded. Let me show you the wall so we can get that resolved as well. So they don't want me to show you these things because they think I'm going to have some lawsuit. So they said, you're going to mess up your lawsuit. Dying messes up a lawsuit. Do you understand, folks? You guys have more common sense than they do. So what they're saying is that they use something where they put things down the incinerator that makes it smell like perfume. And they used to do it in the elevators and on the floor because they felt that that made it smelled like perfume, but it was starting to make me sick. So once I realized that, I started to make note of when they would do it. So now they say what they do is they put it down, they incinerate it from different floors. So it might not be on my floor. It could be on any floor and they put it down the incinerator. And this, these marks that you see on the wall, they weren't there before these people started doing this. And I said, some of this started, I believe it's 2016. They're trying to tell me, no, it started earlier. Well, guess what? If you're admitting that it started earlier, that means you are admitting you're doing it. So I've been here since uh, 1998. 
So over 24 years, since 1998, this is my apartment. So they thought they would have people move in with me and they could slowly do this to me. No one is moving in with me. So they also find people who they claim know everything about me. Well, why would you need to know everything about someone unless you're trying to steal that person's identity? It's a form of identity theft. That's what this is. It's identity theft. But the sad part about it is they said I, I'm a troublemaker. Well, guess what? If I'm a troublemaker, then why were you folks trying to get close to me? And once I rejected you, then I'm a troublemaker. That's what it is. So I'm going to title this rejection is God's protection because God knows had I not rejected these people, they would have killed me. They would have killed me. I'm going to end the sentence like that. So you see this wall. And by the way, they're so concerned about a lawsuit. This is not about a lawsuit. This is a matter of life and death. Who lives, who dies. So that's why I say life and death. Okay. You hear these bangs. This is who they are. I'm showing you who they are. They said that they're going to re-record things that they said and make it seem like I said it or my mother said it. That's insanity. But it shows the advanced technology and the money they wasted trying to attack me.